look at the photo of the look at. We have a few weeks to go now to the end. And we uh, have been looking at uh, quite a number of issues in uh, planning, settlement, and eventually the issue of intervention. But what I want to make very clear is that uh, no matter what you do or whatever you do, there are physical issues that uh, you cannot run away from as a social. You can know how to plan, how to assess, and also how to recover from the situation. But the something which is critical. Two things, three things. <laughs> For an effective and competent social effort, you need three things very important. One, two, three. Right, so 
you try to identify if there are any physical issues that uh, require intervention, so it can be some individual with a physical disability, for example, mental issues, social relationships, uh, issues of living conditions, and so forth and so forth. There are quite a number of these. So these constitute so part of what your assessment will be looking into as you do with the state of And it's reflective. Uh, when the state of the comes to your uh, attention, at that point of your contact, you should be able to understand the problem of the individual immediately as that problem is being narrated to you. So you break it down into some of these issues. Is there a social relationship issue? Is there a mental issue? Is there a physical issue? Or things like uh, those. And uh, you remember that uh, I mentioned that uh, when you are looking at situations like this, you must look at uh, what other people can help you get the required information that you need to use in your services. So this is how we go about uh, dealing with the, the situation that you are dealing with. And here, some of the processes that you need to go through in your services will fall under what we have done here. Issues of documentation, for example. You need to understand the type of documentation that you are going to use. And what about the documentation? Just like talking about issues of policies, what type of policies are there? And policies may not be in a document form. It could be just a statement, but you should be aware of what is available in that particular line of the way. Issues of this type of laws that you are going to use. What laws are you going to be using, for example? If you are going to use, you are dealing with a child who has been moved from children's school to Castilla in the Lord. Right? And is a guest. What type of law are you going to use? What type of policy are you going to use? So there are all these things that you need to be aware of. For example, are you going to use the child care protection and whatever? Or are you going to use the uh, uh, trafficking in persons act, for example? All sorts of things that you need to understand. And the issue of what we call the best practices. Everything that you do in social work would have done would have been previously done by someone somewhere, either national or international. And that's what we call best practice. So you have to compare what you are going to do in practice with what has been there before. And that is the, what we will uh, be calling here yeah, the, the best of practice. And the issue of the code of conduct, these are ethical issues on how best you can uh, proceed actually to uh, transact your so, what do we aim to do when we do all these uh, issues, we all these issues within the context of assessment? That will help you to determine the actual requirements of your assessment. So, when you go through all these processes, you try to determine what actual services are going to be uh, in the middle of. And also, it does help you to identify actual problems that uh, you are services are actually in the test. It could be an individual, it could be a community, or it could be a family, or something like that. So, your assessment is actually supposed to help you understand the situation of that particular individual. And also, here, hey, your process in assessment will help you in the designing some interventions, right? That can bring about change in individuals or just in the uh, community. To the individual, to the community, or something like that. And also, you must be aware that uh, assessment, in some cases, uh, especially in Malawi, I think the assessment which we use to Right? So, what we talk about the it means uh, an already designed format of how you do your assessment. And this depends on the type of case that you are dealing with. For example, if you are dealing with cases to do with the issues of uh, what you call uh, children in coffee with the law, right? Children in coffee with the law, in most cases, are the templates that we use. These are children who uh, seem to be a bit. Uh, where what? 
So now let's assume that the God's institution is not still God's children, you are two years. What do you do with this? They still come back to you. When I come here for two years, I still bring that child. You still bring that child. You take it home. So what it means that it is always work and assessment in progress. Our child is in an institution. We are still working on the Canadian school, which is a local child. If that child cannot be trained, the origins of that child cannot be trained, you, with the police, must come with a report from that. And you, as the somebody responsible for child welfare, you have to uh, arrange an alternative, we call it alternative uh, care. In other words, when you get a child adopted, you can take a child uh, fosters, or something like that. Okay. So here, the purpose of your assessment again is the to give a report. In other words, the report is where you are going to have to understand the processes and the procedures and how you are going to help those particular individuals. So this is how to be done. So that is what the purpose of the assessment will be. And the naturally, you, are, you know that you have your own goals. The normal assessment is that you I will repeat that. You are not going to do or carry out, conduct an assessment if you don't have any goal. Otherwise, your assessment will be now and void. For what? You are assessing for what? You are assessing for something. Therefore, at the point, uh, you will need to set yourself a goal and also some of the objectives that you must be achieved for you to be able to achieve it and conclude to a assignment of that. So here is the, when we look at the assessment, and we see this question, what makes people think that an assessment is for you? As an It's a very, very difficult question. Eh? How do you know that your assessment is good to fit your purpose? How do you know that your assessment is good to fit your purpose? No, it's just, let's be able to learn. How do you know that your assessment is What we are saying now is, you are assessing a situation. Are you also assessing yourself? Does that mean so? Are you assessing the situation of the Are you also assessing yourself? No, we are going to We are also uh, getting the. Do you remember we looked at the, what I mentioned the area as the reflective practice? Do we cover something with reflective practice? Yes. yes. So, reflective practice is actually a self-assessment, right? You are looking back at what you have done. And we are going to measure whether what you have done actually can be, uh, bring about change in an individual or can we uh, uh, meet the objective, objectives that you set yourself to achieve. So it's possible. And uh, I think that some of the questions we said. So, if your assessment is bad, how do you know that your assessment is bad? That's not so good. How do you know? This is, this is a question I wish you some, somebody used to, to ask me. I'm going to tell you about this idea. I'm going to ask you about this idea. Whenever I'm going to say, I'm not going to put out the answer. I'm not going to put out the answer. I'm not going to put out the answer. I'm not going to put out the answer.
effectively this exam. You grade yourself first before you. So you just say that like this. Yeah. That's not That's not very true.
Muslims are very good in this religion. Because they say, okay, Muslim, Christian, which means if you are providing like some services that you prefer, Muslims is then Ubusara, the what? The Christian. At the same time, Ubusara is also. No, but you are not. No, you are not. No, you For example, if you're moving, I am moving to the separate room. Because we're buying the separate room. Is it? Yeah. Just this is a small way, right? But they make a lot of difference in your practice. Actual practice. It's just like you call it and keep it. See your job? Yeah. We understand the difference between you call it and keep it. If you are old, the way we are in the middle of it, the quality will mean providing things that can keep that each one of you. See your test. But keep it, providing things that will fit your position. That way, you have to be equal with other people by providing something extra to make sure you keep it for what others are about. Something like that. This is how we can do that. So here we get a photo of these devs coming around and you can do that. So to be free from bias, for sure is the to Salah. To Salah. Salah. So it is in the chair where I am. So it's ever where you come out. Okay. And again, one good assessment is characteristic that it must be able to meet the needs. You have to do an assessment. When you need to not meet the needs. So that's one of those issues that just have come with it. So I also mentioned the issue of how you observe the principles and also how you use your knowledge and your skills. The fact that the knowledge and skills will go back to issues of documentation, as I mentioned. Documentation, do you know the policies that are there? If you know them, do you have the skills to apply? Do you know the type of laws that are there? And can you apply those laws? What are the principles that guide the way in providing those uh, needs for people that you are dealing with? This is how you would uh, characterize your know, um, assessments as being successful as being good. That's just a measure of it. You can get this on very simple very Explain what you understand by 